Welcome, Barry Benacher. We are so happy to have you here at Crypto K TV. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. As a team lead public relation blockchain campaign manager, what are your primary goals and objectives in uh, driving successful campaigns for blockchain projects? Well, I think our primary goal is to kind of uh, set the infrastructure for, for a crypto uh, 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 project. Essentially, there is thousands, if not tens uh, of thousands of crypto projects out there. Everyone wants to shine, everyone wants to be the headlines, and that's understood, and, and, I, and I can understand that. But uh, we need to understand that there's a lot of stages that a project needs to face in order to get to a point where is um, they're one of the biggest ones in the market. So we kind of try to layer it down. We can say layer zero, uh, the, the infrastructure of, um, of, um, of, 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 of its, uh, we, we like to call it digital footprint, okay? So uh, this means that the project will get a lot of opinion articles that the CEO can maybe uh, say. There is a lot of evergreen articles that are, are discussing um, whatever, uh, these guys are doing or or maybe even just a general question general articles maybe it could be even top five uh, projects to watch for XYZ it's very important because that due diligence is 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 um, imperative for uh, crypto uh, investors to have they, they need that due diligence they need that legitimacy of that project and so what we're trying to create is that infrastructure so that project can go for the long run and they will always have that layer of articles and recognition online by the way can you share uh, any recent uh, successful campaigns or initiatives uh, that you have work on their impact on the projects uh, you were involved in? Uh, of course, I can share many. Uh, Market Across is a very popular uh, PR uh, agency. I think we're the oldest one and, and maybe the biggest one, I would like to think. Um, so, you know, we did PR for Binance. You know, everyone knows who, who Binance is today. Uh, we've even done PR for FTX. Uh, and back in the days, we placed uh, Sam Bankman Freed in the, in the front lines, and and that took off. And we also did the rebranding of Neo from Anchors to Neo. And uh, today we work with Crypto.com and Huobi and Tron and a lot of um, uh, great projects. That's kind of one thing, but also PR is not always promoting your clients; it's sometimes keeping them safe. So sometimes we also face um, crisis management. So, um, you know, uh, we had a recent client, I won't mention the name, but it's a huge launch pad in the industry. It was hacked and a lot of tokens were stolen and there was a lot of mess and we had to deliver a proper message to its community so they would understand that the team is there behind uh, you know, uh, taking all of the relevant actions in order to solve these issues, you know, to stop the trading on the uh, uh, different platforms on chain. Um, so those were the type of things that we are, we can be proud of them, we can say. That's fine. What trends or developments in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space are uh, you most exciting about and how do you foresee them shaping the future of the industry? Well, I was always excited about DeFi. I think, uh, I think this space in general, Bitcoin, if you think of it, it's, it's a DeFi solution. It's, it's, it was always about the fintech solutions and I do find that there is a lot of gaps and a lot of um, uh, issues in, uh, in the current uh, banking system. Uh, there is a lot of things to fix. And I think that, you know, I, I mean, I like Metaverse and I like the idea of gaming. I'm not a gamer, so it's difficult for me to kind of relate to that. But still, I think that the, the financial solutions are the core of this industry and what is going to last also. In your opinion, what are the key factors to, that contribute to the success of a blockchain project marketing campaign and what advice would you give to those looking to promote their projects effectively? Uh, they, need to, they need to last. They need to understand they're here for the long run. Um, you know, whoever comes here to raise some money and run away, 
it's fine, but uh, it's not. It's not about that. I mean, uh, you need to understand that with the money you raised now from the IDO, now you have. You need to kind of strategize. Uh, you need to take a PR agency. You need to take consultancy. You need to understand that there is a lot of things you need to kind of dive deeper into little by little, and and also to understand that you might need to change. I mean, a lot of uh, um, uh, projects are pivoting from one is a DAO, then it's a DeFi solution, now it's a little bit of metaverse, and tomorrow it's going to be AI driven, you know? So all of those projects who understand that it's a long play and they're here for the long run, um, I think they will succeed. My uh, uh, saying always is that uh, uh, um, a campaign or, or a crypto project, it's not a, mar it's not a, a, a sprint. It's a marathon. Well, you are a PR and a marketer too, but what is the difference in Web3 be, uh, between PR and marketing for our audience? Um, ah, I would say it's completely different. I mean, marketing, it could be a lot of different things. It could be even, I don't know, PPC maybe. Um, but PR is like public relation. It's, it's to take the brand and to put it out there. It's, 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 it could be a lot of things. It could be also news articles, it could be evergreen articles, but it could also be thought leadership uh, for the CEO of the project, right? I mean, the CEO of the project, he needs his face to be uh, seen, he needs to be on stage, he needs interviews, he needs to show his opinions, he needs to um, comment on different uh, uh, scenarios and things that are happening in the market, so that's very essential. So I think PR is kind of more of a broader um, than simply marketing. It's, it's, um, it's a lot of different solutions that create that, um, that buzz effect. Barry, thank you so much for your presence and uh, in joining us at Crypto KTV and we really appreciate uh, your insights. Thank you. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Thank you.